effect. U.S. Bands is proud to present the Quakertown High School Panthers. You may now take the field in Group 4 competition. Last Saturday, the Panther Marching Band placed second at the U.S. Bands National Championship at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. More than 60 bands competed across several groups divided by band size and competition experience. Today, we're talking to Mr. Frank Parker, band director in the QCSD TV News Studio. Hello, Mr. Parker. Hello, Chris. Thanks for having me. You have quite a large trophy here. Yeah, it's actually taller than me, and uh, it's pretty heavy. Um, I had no trouble picking it up. I, I hear Coach Bannis might need a little extra help with it, but I was fine. Tell us about the event and the band. Well, the Panthers achieved second place in the Group 4 Open Class, besting 15 other bands that featured 75 to 95 members. A group of 92 QCHS students comprised the Panther Marching Band. Uh, we posted our highest score ever at 97.015 and the highest finish ever in a national competition. Uh, last year in the same competition, they finished fifth in fifth place, returning to the competition for the first time in six years. Uh, the Panther Band also won the Best Visual Performance Award, and you can catch that performance on YouTube if you'd like. Well, that's a, that's a big accomplishment. Congratulations. And it's, it's tough to follow up. What's next for your musicians? Well, it's time for us to move on to other things. We have our concert bands uh, that'll be doing concerts in December. Our jazz bands have just begun. Uh, the indoor drumline season, color guard seasons are starting up. Um, in fact, tomorrow, the Jazz Ensemble and the uh, Jazz Cafe are traveling up to Moravian College where we get to do a clinic with a Grammy Award winning composer, uh, Maria Schneider. Uh, we will be hosting, Quakertown High School will be hosting the Pennsylvania Music Educators District 11 Band Festival in February. We have a band trip to Pittsburgh, Ohio, and Michigan in April with stops at University of Akron, University of Michigan, uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and on the way home, we're going to stop and play at the 9-11 Flight 93 Memorial. Um, and probably the highlight for us, the QCHS Wind Symphony was selected to play at the 2017 PMEA All-State Conference in Erie, uh, where more, more than 130 groups applied to perform. And most importantly, the bands will continue to perform for school and community events throughout the year, including the pep rally next week. It's a lot to look forward to. Uh, good luck with everything the rest of the school year, and thanks for joining us here at the QCSD TV News Studio. Thank you.